Hi everyone, beetroot, uh, one of the vegetables which I grew up with not having a lot of affinity for. Uh, so thinking of some of recipes, uh, my mom reminded me of the beetroot cutlet. Uh, so here I am, I've boiled some vegetables, beetroot, carrot, cauliflower, potatoes. I have green peas on the side and added some spices, whole garam masala, cumin powder, shark masala, salt and sugar to taste and mashed it up all together, mixed it really well. That's This is the toughest part, I would say. Uh, separately chopped some vegetables, just onions, uh, in hot pepper, hot chili pepper, and have taken some uh, garlic and ginger paste. I heat up the oil, added the garlic, ginger, and all the onions and chili pepper. Stirred them for about a couple minutes and added all the mashed veggie and spice mix and kept stirring them for about five minutes and then garnish with coriander. I leave this aside, let it cool for about an hour and the stuffing uh, is just kept separately which can be used for several things. And now I've prepared a batter of just all-purpose flour, baking soda, water, salt, red chili and a little sugar. Mix them well in one cup of water and also kept some bread crumbs separately and this is all for the coating of the wedge cutlet. And now I shape them into flat pieces like this, the mashed uh, veggie spice mix and then first I dip them in the batter and then I coat them with the breadcrumbs and then fry it in a pan. So the pan has a couple of tablespoons of oil and I heated it up and uh, fried both sides in the pan. Serving with mustard sauce and cucumber really uh, is the best thing to do for veg cutlets. Um, so the beetroot cutlet really tasted awesome. So although I don't like beetroot cutlet, uh, um, I don't like the beetroot vegetable per se, but I really like the beetroot uh, cutlet that uh, came out of this uh, whole uh, effort. So separately, I had an additional, a little more stuffing left, but no breadcrumbs, and then I thought, what should I do with that? So I ended up making some dosa. Dosa is another favorite South Indian dishes, which typically you get in Urupi. Uh, dosa batters are available in Indian stores. Um, so I prepared some dosa batter. I didn't have to prepare some dosa batter. I just prepared the dosa crepe. So you see in a flat pan, I fried a little, very little oil. Actually, you can spray oil. It's called a flat tava. And in two minutes, you'll see uh, the batter, once you spread it, it starts becoming crispy, comes out. Put the uh, stuffing of that beetroot in the center as I place it here. And then uh, fold up uh, the crepe style dosa here, so the dosa should be ready. On the side, you can have sambar dal. It's a separate lentil curry, but I it takes a lot of time. So I just prepared uh, some coconut, yogurt, peanut chutney. I mix the yogurt, coconut, peanut. Uh, green hot chili, uh, salt and sugar and ginger and garlic, fresh ginger and garlic. Mash them together and uh, temper them with some whole cumin, whole mustard seeds, uh, some uva dal which is the black gram, curry leaves uh, and some whole cumin as well. Fry them in the oil and then add all of this yogurt uh, coconut chutney into it. Um, for five minutes, I just mix them together. You can add a little water if required. And then after five minutes, you'll see this is the desired consistency you want. So the coconut yogurt peanut chutney goes really well with the dosa. So um, it, you can see how beetroot, I don't like beetroot, but I ended up really loving both the beetroot cutlet and the beetroot stuffed dosa. So I hope you can enjoy uh, uh, some of these uh, beetroot recipes, although I know most people just end up having beetroot salad or some kind of beetroot soup. But these are some quick ideas to relish beetroot. Uh, enjoy and let me know how they turned out. Thank you so much for listening.